Welcome to more drifting cars that really shouldn't be able to drift. This episode, we have the Group 3 variant of the previous car, which was the Alfa Romero 4C. The Group 4 did pretty cop picking good, and in theory, this would do pretty cop picking gooder, given that it has more power. And really, Mo Power and a Mo Power is a good combination, usually. I mean, look at the Demon, it's the fastest car in the world. I gave time there for the negative comments with the asterisks and stuff. Yeah, I know. But anyway, here's this car, and let's see if it can drift. To start off, again, it's on racing tires because it has to be. It is on racing intermediate, which has a less, little less grip. I forgot to mention that in the last video, but y'all saw it in the tune itself. And that helps, but it's still... I'd say racing intermediate probably has as much or more grip than sports soft, and it still ain't the easiest to drift. But it does have a whole heck of a heap of power, so it can at least get a drift going pretty cop picking easily. But where it does have a lot of grip, it's hard to keep a drift going. Oddly enough, this car actually doesn't really drift any better than the less powerful variant for whatever reason. I don't really know why. I tested this for longer than any of the other ones so far just because I figured it would drift better, but it sort of kind of didn't. I'm not really sure why that is, but yeah, this actually ain't really all that good of a drift car. It can drift, kind of, sort of, but I wouldn't really recommend it. I haven't actually found, I haven't tested all that many, but I haven't really found any Group 3 cars that drift all that well yet. In theory, for all the race cars, those would be pretty cop picking good, given that they have the most power, but they don't really drift all that well. But for what I could do, this is the tune for it. If y'all want to try it yourself, and maybe y'all can get better results, here you go. And it's kind of just the same again. It ain't really too all that much different. The only one that really needed all that much different was the Audi. The only thing different really about this one is it has six for the camber. Because 10 was just too much, it would immediately spin out. Downforce, again with the race cars, I'm doing minimum, so it has the least grip possible. For the differential, it's the exact same, and transmission, it's the exact same. So I hope you all enjoyed this sort of kind of anticlimactic drift car, but hopefully there'll be some better drift cars in the future. Yee-haw!